What's up everybody? Today is October 14th, 2023. It is day two of us having a car. The car is actually back there. But already experiencing problems. <laughs> so don't even know where to start. Um, so the car, it's still, it runs, it, it, it runs fine. It doesn't seem like anything's wrong with it, but the check engine light came on this morning. So it's like, okay, well, why is the check engine light on? And you know, to take it to a shop, just for them to check it out is probably, who knows, maybe 75, maybe a hundred dollars, you know? And we just, we don't have continuing money for all this. And so, so that's, it's, that's already stressful. So yeah, so the check engine light came on this morning. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised with anything. You know, it's, it's when you buy a used car, they sell it to you as is. And so it's, it's not surprised. The car is, like I said, it's almost 20 years old. And, I mean, it's going to have it's going to have problems. I, and I get that, you know, um, but it just sucks. This is the whole thing with, with a car in general. Cars need maintenance like all the time. You know, you fix it up and something else goes wrong. So anyhow, so that that happened this morning. Right. But it's like, okay, well, the check engine's light came on. Well, I'll worry about that, I don't know, another time. Because today, it's Saturday, and what we were trying to do is like, okay, well, I want to get this car registered in my name right away, right? So we go down to the place to register the car, and guess what? I can't register my car because I don't have a Washington driver's license. I have a Utah driver's license back from when we lived in Salt Lake. I was like, are you kidding me? That's the first time I've heard of that. I don't even think that's uh, the case in, in other states. I, I, I could have swore um, when we're in Utah, I still had my California driver's license and I was able to register a car there in Utah. I could have swore, maybe not. I don't. I really don't remember. So anyhow, so yeah, we, we go to the place. It's, it's actually right over here. We go to the place to try to register the car and um, wait in line, wait like, I don't know, 45 minutes in the line or whatever sat down okay register the car here's the title and all these kinds of things okay and she said okay can i have your driver's license okay here you go and i said oh uh, it, it's from you know another state it's from utah is that gonna be a problem she said yeah yes that is a problem you can't you can't register a vehicle unless you have a driver's license in the state so I said, it's still valid i said my license in you know from utah is still valid to 2029 it's all the united states i just figured you know, i got a driver's license somewhere what's the difference you know it's all it's not like i'm coming from mexico or canada or something like that no it has to be in washington she can't do anything okay i said okay well um how much is it going to be you know, for registration, and everything. I don't know, it's three fifty or whatever. There's all kinds of fees, like three. I think it was like three hundred and fifty or something like that, no for all the all the fees and everything, or maybe three twenty. No I don't. I don't remember. Over three hundred dollars just to register the car. And it's like, oh, it's more money, you know. And then I, once I do register, I have to get car insurance. And that's another just to to just to get the car insurance going. It's usually like a couple hundred dollars. So I mean, we're already talking about upwards of another thousand dollars. And I knew all, I, 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 I mean, I didn't know the registration was going to be that much money. Um, but I, you know, I knew it's like, even if we get a car, there's going to be more fees and more this and more that, you know? So yeah, so it's already, it's already problems. Even if the check engine light wasn't on, like I said, still just say it was $300 for registration. And then my license, I don't even know how much is, I, I was going to look that up. Um, how much is it to get a, a driver's license in Washington? Maybe it's cheap. It might just be like fifteen dollars or something like that. But you know, regardless of what it is, that's more money. But then insurance. Insurance is not going to be fifteen or twenty dollars. Nothing like that. Insurance is just just to get signed up for a car insurance is usually I I, I don't know. Like I said, hundred. Who knows? I don't know how much it's going to be. So yeah. So just already. I I mean, I, like I said, I knew beforehand. You get a car. There's expenses with. Oh, he wants to go on the swing. You know, you get a car, there's expenses with the car, you know, and I knew that beforehand. But I didn't know it was going to be that much. Washington State is um, one of the more expensive states as far as taxes and fees. And she, yeah, she's like, three, I forget what she said, 320 or 350. I was like, why is so much? She said, look, I have to, uh, this is fees and tags and this and that. <laughs> I didn't even think it was that expensive in, in California. It's like, geez, man. 
so so anyhow that's what's going on so yeah the check engine light came on this morning like it, it, it feels like it's running okay it's not overheating and nothing like that so no i don't know or it could be the air filter i don't know if, if the air filter because uh, they said the air filter was bad and we we're going to change it but nano was ready to go and i was like okay we'll just do that another day here i gotta pick nano up put him on the swing okay ready oh i can't um here hold on I can't hold this. I know. Thing. Just push it with your hips. Okay. Push. Push. Can't. Okay. Um, he's not on it. Oh my gosh. You need to. <laughs> I need to hold this swing. Trying to hold the phone, get Nano up, and. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. He's not on. Oh my gosh. Let me try to put this the phone down for a second. Huh? I had to put the phone down for a second. <laughs> we're at the park trying to put nano on the swing if you guys out position maybe you guys could watch <laughs> he's barely not tall enough to get on the swing okay. Okay. okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back under the tree because it was uh it's better lighting over there. Or maybe under this tree over here. So, so yeah, so, like I said, even regardless of the check engine lighting, that's a whole other problem. I gotta figure that out. Figure out how, how to get money to, like I said, just going to a shop, you go to an auto repair shop, and, man, look at this tree behind me, it's huge. You know, you can't tell because I'm far away, hold on. Oh, and I'm out of breath from picking that up. But you go to an auto repair shop and you tell them, oh, hey, I just want you to look at my car. Look how big this tree is. And, um, oh, well, we charge whatever it is, whatever the auto shop's fee is just for looking at the car. And some auto shops will put that money towards, like, say you need something, say, say you need something that costs $200. And the, the fee just to look at it costs $75. They'll, some shops, We'll put the 75 fee towards the 200, but other shops, it's like just an independent fee. So it would be 200 plus the 75, just for an example. So yeah, so even if we just want to go to a shop just to check why the check engine light's coming on, they're like, oh, it's uh, 40 bucks or whatever, you know, the fee is. So, so that's a whole other problem. Oh, man, I'm out of breath. So anyhow. You know, it sucks without a car. You can't, you know, it's so hard to get around. And, you know, without a car, I can't get certain jobs like a delivery job. Or, and it just makes it harder to get to a job and all, all, all those kinds of things. But then having a car, then you have the problem. Cars are expensive, you know. And especially a 20-year-old car, you know, it's going to have problems. Like I said, I just put a battery in yesterday. I did a battery and an oil change. That cost me like 150 bucks. And then, you know, it does need an air filter. That's about 15 to $20. And then whatever else is, is wrong with it. And registration insurance, that's going to be like another 500 bucks. It's like, just don't have this money, you know? And it's like, we need this car. We need the car. And it's just... So it just sucks. It just sucks, you know? So yeah, so that's, that's what's going on. So we have a car, but... You know, I can't even get registered. I, we, we went today, the next day. I just got the car yesterday, went today. You know, trying to do the right thing. Okay, go get registered, all this. Oh, well, you don't have a Washington driver's license. Why would I have got a Washington driver's license? I didn't have a car. <laughs> I didn't need a Washington driver's license until right now. I didn't have a car the whole time we've been here. I don't need a driver's license to ride the bus. Don't need auto insurance to ride the bus, so I don't have auto insurance. Don't need a driver's license to ride the bus. So I don't have a driver's license. So I go. Oh, oh, out of state. Oh, that's no good. Even though it's still totally valid ID in the United States, but so much for United States, right? You think it's like valid there, valid here. What's the difference, you know? But anyways, so that's going on. Not trying to complain. Just talking. It's just that's what these videos are about my life so it's good news it's really good news we got a car but you know trying to keep it up 
trying to not even keep it up. Just, I can't even get past step one of just regist registering this stupid vehicle. <laughs> oh my god. I just wanted to do step one today. Simple. Oh, hey, go. I got a driver's license and, you know, we got the title and go register. No. So, yeah. So, anyhow, so that's what's going on. That's what's going on. And all the while, all the while, in case anyone has forgot, we are still homeless. And it's like people are like, oh, you got, you got to get a job, you know? And especially now, you know, I got a car. It's like, I want to get a job, right? That's fine. It takes time. But like, for example, I want to get a delivery job. But even if not, I mean, any job. But let's just say I want to try for a delivery job. I can't do that until the car is registered and it has car insurance. I can't even get any kind of delivery job, Uber, Lyft, none of that with my car until it's registered. I can't get registered, I can't get a driver's license. And so... And, and oh, and we have to wait till Monday for that because it's already late, you know. Um, the, the, um, what's it called? The DMV closes early today. In some so in California, you do everything in one place. DMV, you get your car registered, your driver's license, all this kind of stuff. In other states, uh, like Utah and here, apparently, you don't do everything in one place. Um, you go to one place to register the vehicle, you go to another place to get your driver's license. So, so we went to, to uh, whatever auto licensing place today to register the vehicle. And I was like, well, do you guys do driver's license here? No, we don't do that. You got to go to the actual DMV for that. Okay. And the DMV here closes early today, Saturday. And so, and then Sunday it's closed. So we got to wait till Monday. So... So oh, anyhow, so uh, what I was saying, so uh, yeah, in case anyone forgot, so we're still homeless in the meantime. Yeah, I want to get a job, you know, but I'm trying to, it's like, okay, I got a car. I need to get this going. Like I said, it's the law. You got to get it registered. You got to get car insurance. I'm driving around, you know, you never know. You might hit somebody. God forbid you, but you might hit somebody, you know, get into an accident or whatever. So you got to get your car registered, insurance. So I'm like, you know, like I said, trying to be a good citizen, get, get that stuff done first. And then, like I said, so I can get a delivery job or just so I could be on the road illegally couldn't get that done today so that was that's frustrating and all the while we're still homeless we, we don't you know since we're homeless you know we got to live somewhere and so um, trying to earn money by begging or whatever to to stay in the hotel every day you know and so any money that we do have it goes to either hotel or food or now trying now trying to register the car fix up the car So yeah, so it's hard. It's hard. I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm just talking. That's what these videos are about. Me talking, and that's what's going on. So always need more money. That it's, it's, it's crazy because that's like all what it comes down to. It's all, it's all just money. You know, everything is just money. I mean, that's modern society. It's all money. To register a car, license, uh, you know. Uh, fix up a car for a hotel or even if you don't if you live in a place for rent obviously for food for gas electricity and all this if you have a place and you know and then obviously we have a disabled child i need to buy diapers and wipes and you know becca needs feminine pads and you know oh we have to pay for gasoline and you know <laughs> the car is not going to go anywhere without gasoline in it and that's almost five dollars a gallon here some places it might be five dollars five dollars a gallon So, yeah, this all comes down to money. We just need more money. That's all it is. Always just need more money. Because everything is just so expensive. Every, everything is just so expensive. So, that's all it comes down to. Just always need more money. So, anyhow. That's what's going on. So, just letting Nano be at the park today and just try to have some peace. Because, you know, he deserves to play and stuff like that. It's a really nice park. At least this is free. At least the park is free. At least the park is free. Well, not technically. You pay taxes, and taxes pay for it. So it's not free, especially here in Washington. You see, that's that's where they get money to pay for the park. You know, you go tax on food, tax on whatever, gas, and on registration for your car, and all this kind of stuff. And so yeah. Anyways, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. 
wanted to be happy about having a car, but right away, just bad news. Oh, check engine lights coming. Oh, you can't register your vehicle. Oh, any even if I did have a driver's license, oh, it's going to be over three hundred dollars to register your vehicle, and then you know, and then car insurance. I don't even want to know how much that's going to be, and you know, and then it's not like at least registration is a one-time fee. Car uh, car insurance, it's a once a month fee, and that's another thing. Now we have another bill that we have to pay. You know, it's not just food and a hotel or or whatever. It's like, oh, now you have another bill. You have uh, car insurance that you have to pay every month. You don't pay that, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, repo your vehicle or whatever. You know, it's like, <laughs> sorry, sorry for complaining. It's just, it's it's depressing. It's stressful. Anyhow, um, yeah, that's it. Well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.